in living organisms locomotion and bodily movement of the ankle foot and toes micro and macro organisms micro organisms are microscopic small sized organisms they may be one celled or multicellular general characters of protista all are unicellular organisms they live in between plants and animals some cells are independent and prepare food by photosynthesis majority are dependent on other organisms they cannot prepare their food they are heterotrophic slime molds and protozoan animal cells are included under this group protista all are made up of one cell the size is ranging from 0.1 to 200 microns in diameter some protozoans are parasitic example plasmodium many live in water example paramecium amoeba paramecium habitat it is found in fresh water ponds pools lakes rivers and streams it feeds on bacteria and tiny protozoans structure of the cell a paramecium cell measures about 170 to 290 microns in length and 100 to 120 microns in breadth the body of the animal is covered by a membrane called pellicle the entire body is surrounded by a number of cilia the cilia are hair like structures and they are the organelles of locomotion the functions of cilia are locomotion food collection and they act as sense organelle cytoplasm the liquid present inside the pellicle is called cytoplasm it is divided into outer ectoplasm and inner endoplasm trichocysts they are bag like structures found inside the pellicle they contain poisonous fluids they help paramecium to escape from their enemies or larger organisms so they are the organelles of defense nuclei paramecium cell has two nuclei in its cytoplasm a large one is called macronucleus and a smaller one is called micronucleus macronucleus controls the metabolic activities micronucleus controls the reproduction contractile vacuole there are two contractile vacuoles each one is a spherical body surrounded by 6 to 10 radiating canals the main function of this contractile vacuole is excretion and water balance oral groove this is mouth like opening on the pellicle it leads to a tube like structure called cytopharynx the cytosome is the opening of the mouth it can be opened and closed by a structure called vestibule food vacuole many small food vacuoles are also seen in the cytoplasm they are larger near the cytopharynx and smaller near the top locomotion the locomotion in paramecium is done in two ways ciliary locomotion this movement of cilia is uniform either forward or backward the movement of all cilia pushes the water and enables the animal to move the average speed of paramecium is 1500 microns per second body contraction the shape of paramecia is slipper shaped there is a temporary change of the body shape by contraction in one of few regions these movements are done by the myonemes muscle fibers present in the ectoplasm the contraction and expansion of the muscle fibers alternatively results in locomotion nutrition the paramecium feeds on bacteria diatoms and other unicellular protozoans the food particles are pushed into oral groove by the cilia it moves into cytostome and cytopharynx it reaches the cytopharynx and cytoplasm it reaches the cytoplasm as large food vacuole food vacuole 
is the prey or food surrounded by a drop of water. This vacuole is on motion in the cytoplasm due to streaming. Cyclosis is the movement of cytoplasm within the cell. The enzymes are poured on the vacuole and the digestion is done within the cell. This is called intercellular digestion. The undigested food particles are pushed out with force. Respiration. Taking in oxygen and giving out carbon dioxide is called respiration. This process is done by the cell surface by diffusion. The gases are exchanged with water. Excretion. The waste materials are formed from metabolic reactions. The nitrogenous waste materials are collected by radiating canals. They leave all these materials with water into the contractile vacuole. When the vacuoles are filled up, they move towards the pellicle and burst open. Another vacuole is formed. Reproduction Reproduction is defined as the capacity of an organism to produce its own kind. Paramecium reproduces both by asexual method and conjugation. Asexual method The cell division itself is a method of reproduction. Paramecium reproduces by binary fission lengthwise. The normal activities are stopped. The macronucleus divides into two by constriction. The micronucleus divides by mitosis so that four nuclei are formed. The cell elongates in length. The contractile vacuole divides into two. A new oral groove is formed. Then the pellicle bends inside to form a constriction in between. This extends inside and divides the cell into two cells. Binary fission is completed. Earthworm Megascolex morishi The earthworm has a long cylindrical body. It has ring-like segments. It has mouth at its anterior end and anus at its posterior end. The skin secretes mucus and keeps the body always moist. Closed circulatory system is present. Clitellum is the thickening of the skin, seen between the 14th to the 17th segment. Male and female reproductive openings open within the clitellum. Locomotion is affected by setae, which lie embedded in the skin. There are many pores on the body of the earthworm called nephridiophores. Nephridia are excretory organs. These are present in each segment in pairs. Locomotion The earthworm is made up of 100 to 120 segments. The organs of movement in earthworm are called setae. The circular and longitudinal muscles help in locomotion. When the earthworm moves, the circular muscles contract first. This makes the body thinner and longer. At this time, setae protrudes out. The body setae in the first half of the body protrudes out and fixes the worm to the soil. In the lateral half of the body, the muscles contract and the body gets shortened. The setae protrudes out and gets fixed to the soil. The first half removes the setae and expands the longitudinal muscles. Thus, the contraction and expansion of circular and longitudinal muscles affect locomotion in earthworm. Sexual Reproduction in Earthworm The earthworm is a hermaphrodite. A glandular cover called clitellum covers the segments 14, 15, 16 and 17. Female Reproductive System Pair of ovaries is present in the 13th segment. A pair of oviducts arises from ovaries which open in the 14th segment as female genital openings. Male Reproductive System Two pairs of testes are present in segment 10 and 11. A pair of sperm ducts arise from testes and open in the 18th segment as male genital opening. The fertilization is internal 
in the 14th or 15th segment. The zygotes are pushed out of this segment and collected in between the clitella membrane and wall. A cocoon is formed and gets released in the soil. Each cocoon contains more than five zygotes. They are released in the soil and develop into earthworms. 